Hey guys, it's Sean from Buzz BMW in Oakville. Uh, in front of me, I have a 2021 BMW X3. Uh, this video, I'll do a quick walk around the exterior, talk about the interior, go over the engine, um, and give you a quick overview on the vehicle. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll start on the outside and we'll start on the front end. So a couple things I wanna note, and again, uh, this, ha this redesign has been out for a few years, but let's start at the headlights. Standard on the X3 uh, are LED headlights. Uh, so you have the option of these ones or you can go to an adaptive LED headlight as well. A little bit better distance in terms of light. Um, but the days of Xenon's HIDs, those are essentially gone. Squatting down a little bit, you'll notice uh, LED fog lights. So it just helps light up the uh, your area when you're driving as well. And then across the bottom, you got parking sensors across the front. And I'll show you later on, parking sensors across the back as well. Looking at the front end, kind of the star of the show is the kidney grills, and that's kind of one of BMW's signatures. Um, but this one serves a different purpose. So not only has it increased in size, but I'm not sure if the camera can capture it. You actually notice them, they're closed right now, so you can't actually see inside. It serves two, two different functions. So one function being, helps the vehicle warm up a little bit better, um, especially during the colder, the winter times as well, and for fuel efficiency as well. So it'll automatically open and close depending on your driving. Again, outside of that, you'll see the design curves across the hood as well. Just gives it more of an aggressive uh, stance compared to its competitors on the market. If I move my way to the side, a couple things I wanna note here on the side of the vehicle. So one here is if you look at the tires, uh, they are 18 inch tires uh, or rims, sorry. Uh, and they do come on run flat tires, 18 inches standard. You can go up to a 20 inch package depending on what trim you choose. Um, another thing to note, you'll see a, a lot of chrome along the windows as well. And then across the roof rails, that is standard. However, if you end up getting like an M Sport package, for example, that can all be blacked out with black shadow lines. So it gives you more of a stealthy, more an aggressive appearance as well. Third thing I wanna note, so I'm not sure if you can really tell here on a black vehicle, but you'll see a lot of black cladding across the bottom. So right across the bottom, you'll see a lot of black cladding. That is standard, and again, it gives it more of an aggressive look, but also durability as well. If you're a person who's not a fan of that for whatever reason, choose the M Sport package, because with the M Sport package, you do have the option of removing it all, and now it just goes body straight down. Gives it much more of a sportier appearance, and it really stands out as you don't see too many of them on the road either. Okay. One thing I wanted to note here, uh, so you'll notice your blind spot triangle. So obviously when someone enters your blind spot, it is gonna light up. And then if you look at the side of the mirror as well, LED turn signals across the side. There's your fuel tank over here. Make sure the vehicle's on lock and just push to open. Does a kind of a quick open there. It does use 91 fuel. And you have your gas cap with your cap holder across the side. So we'll just close this one up and make our way to the back of the vehicle. All right, so BMW, in my opinion, has done a great job in terms of redesigning the back. Uh, it all starts with the LED headlights. So not only did they make them um, obviously all LED, so better visibility, but they made them a little bit larger too. So when you compare it to a lot of this competition out there, uh, it really just stands out more aggressive, more masculine, I'm not sure if I can use that as a word, but just much more aggressive when you look uh, compared to a lot of its competitors out there. A couple other things to note as well, um, you have that silver trim across the bottom, but to the each side of it are the exhausts. And one thing I, I always love to mention as well is, you know, you pay a lot of, you're paying a lot of uh, a premium from buying this compared to a Toyota or a Honda or a Dodge, for example, at least give real exhaust. And that's what BMW does with this. A lot of the other competitors still stick with that fake exhaust. So kudos to BMW on that. And like I mentioned, the beginning of the vehicle, there's a couple, some of the sensors on the back. So you got a couple of those rear sensors and making our way to the top. You got your camera down there as well with LED lights. Okay. Across the top, you do have your spoiler across the top, and it does have that third brake light as well, so just better visibility, especially in uh, bad weather. So let's look, take a look at the trunk and see the distance differences there. Power tailgate, so it is foot, foot activated. You can open it that way from the remote or from the inside of the vehicle. 
okay? Two buttons, the button on the left, open and close the trunk. The button on the right will obviously close the trunk, but it will also lock it at the same time. So if you're walking away from the vehicle, you have that option there. Okay, and looking at the tailgate or the trunk, one of the more spacious trunks out there on the market, not just in terms of obviously size, but width as well and an opening. So if you're, um, you know, you have kids or anything like that, you're throwing strollers in there, you have a ton of space, ton of space to play with. And you got even a little couple of curves and hooks down here as well. Grocery bags with a 12 volt, 12 volt outlet. Tunnel cover going across the top that can pull out. A few more hooks across the bottom. So if you're whatever you need more hooks, you had that there. And then one of the cool things I want to show is obviously the storage as well. So when you open your first tab over here, I have a little storage. So you'll see a little groove across the bottom. It fits the uh, it fits the tunnel cover perfectly. So you don't have to leave in the garage, lose it. And then when you have to return it on a lease, you end up paying for one, you can easily start in the car. Second thing, because this vehicle has run flat tires, you get a lot of space in the bottom as well. So again, space is a premium. If you don't want to drive a seven seater or a minivan, um, Again, you can put a lot of stuff down here that, you know, normally you don't need, or you can throw a laptop down there if you want to keep it safe as well. All right. Let's close the trunk. And let's make our way to the engine bay and go over the engine options. Before we get into the engine, we'll go over how to open it. On BMWs, it's a little bit different. So you have your latch over here. Once to unlock, twice to open. So let's make our way to the front of the vehicle. Because we've unlocked it with the double latch system, all you gotta do is lift and it'll open itself there, right? So let's look at the star of the show. This is the engine that you have in the, in the X3. Uh, it comes with a two liter four cylinder motor. Uh, it gets about 248 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque off a turbo motor. Uh, that's good for about eight liters per hundred kilometers in the, on the highway. Uh, or about 10.5 liters uh, per 100 kilometers in the city. One of the good things BMW does is they make, you know, everything very easy to understand. So you gotta top up your washer fluid, got it right off the side over there, your battery. So your battery is obviously not located in the front of the vehicle, but you do have your outlets over there as well if you need to open it. And then you'll notice these silver bars across the front. These are the different strut bars. So with it being more of a performance oriented SUV, um, this is going to help you obviously take those turns a little bit tighter, uh, help the handling and kind of the response to the vehicle. One of the BMW uh, kind of main trades is being more of a performance oriented vehicle while giving you the luxury. So it's good to have that in the vehicle. All right, so let's go take a look at the interior starting with the back seat. So let's make our way to the back seat, opening it up. One of the first things I want to show is obviously the width. So the door does open up quite a bit. Uh, so again, whether you're a larger person, I'm about six foot two, or you have a stroller or a car seat that you're trying to put in, that extra space does help quite a bit. You got your wood grain trim. And again, you can have different trims depending on different packages you choose. X marks a spot. Uh, with all the X3s, you'll have this logo on the front and the back when you open the doors. You got that leather trim. So on x3s leather is standard but this specific vehicle does have the black leather seats and then you'll notice here you got some gray piping as well and we'll take a look at more of that when we get into the interior or the front seat you got rear ventilation you can control the heat temperature and then across the bottom you have usb-c so that's kind of the new golden standard moving forward when it comes to charging your devices most ipad pros and new ipads use them now android phones and I'm sure Apple will be going that way as well. Here's your... All right, that's your armrest down there. Got a couple of drinks back here. Obviously non-alcoholic. Put them in here. And before we move to the front, one thing I want to make note, and especially for parents, new parents, or you got a newborn at home, is the latch system. So you'll see it on both sides. A lot of vehicles that you see out there, you know, you're looking for the hook is dug deep into the seat. You're sitting there in the middle of winter trying to find it. Not really pleasant. With uh, BMW, 
fold that in and there's your latch system. It makes it very easy to take the seat out, take the base out um, and switch vehicles no matter what. All right, so let's take a look at the front. All right, so for the interior, I switched over to the ultra wide lens so you have a better view. But before we go inside, a couple things I want to note here. So to lock, you can put your finger across the top there. To unlock, put your hand inside and open up. And before we take the seat, just want to go over the side control. So starting at the top, you have your trunk control followed by your side mirror. So you can adjust that. There are power folding as well, side mirrors. So if you're in a tight parking spot, huge benefit there. You have your four window switches, which are all one touch. And then you have your window locks as well. Moving down here, you have your power seats. One thing to note here is you have lumbar support in the seats. So if we look at the bolstering, for example, Again, you want more of a sportier drive, but everybody's bodies are different. So you can obviously loosen that up, tighten it up as well, depending on your body, and still experience the sport. So it just kind of caters to a large demographic. Like I said, leather seats uh, are optional in this vehicle, and you do have them in this one with the lumbar support for you know, taller people or people who need that. Let's grab a seat on the inside. Okay, if we make our way over here, uh, again, you have your window switches to the left of the main switch is uh, your fog lights to the right uh, Down cross down there is your parking lights on the back So if you need to activate those you have that functionality got a little storage down here as well Throw a wallet or a transponder or anything like that On the left side you have your turn signals. So let's get a better view of that your turn signals the BC button Which I'll show you later controls the information directly in front of you to the right you have you have your uh, wipers so you put the stock up to turn the front ones on turn the end piece around like that to turn the back wipers on as well grippy so one thing bmw does right is their steering wheels very grippy very meaty so very easy to handle but again very soft as well on the left side of the steering wheel you'll have all your cruise control functionality over there across the right you'll have your volumes across the top change your different tracks not sure if we'll show up here, but you can, hopefully you can see that. I'm on XM radio and I can kind of cycle through the different stations. So that's your pinwheel right there. Answer your phone. You can go through different like AM, FM, satellite radio, and then you can speak to the vehicle. Couple things to note here. So obviously you have the BMW assistant. However, if you're paired to say Apple CarPlay, for example, and you hold this button for three seconds, you can speak to Siri. So if you're more familiar or comfortable with that, you have that option. Across the top, so you have your reading lights across here. That little BMW design language over there. So when you turn the lights on, it just it lights up really well. But again, you'll notice it more at night than during the day. Open and close your sunroof. SOS button, you get stranded. Uh, you know, it happened to me one time where I got stranded. Press that button, I had that assistance. So it's a cool function to have in the vehicle. And then I don't know if you notice at the bottom, you have your home link. So again, you can program three different garage doors if need be. And look at that. We have a navigation update. We'll do it later on, but this is your iDrive system. So one thing to know with the X3 is if you, if you don't option your vehicle out, you're going to get iDrive 6. So iDrive 6 is more of a tile-based system, as you'll see here. They're live tiles as well. So it'll tell you, it'll update your mileage, for example, update where you, where you are, um, or even the music as well. And then you'll notice the front, it, uh, with iDrive 6, you have your different odometer as well, or sp analog, more of like an analog digital display. So it's not fully digital like the new ID7. But again, I'll show you that in one of my other videos as well. Going through here, if I click down, uh, you do have satellite radio, AM, FM, Bluetooth, USB. Uh, again, that's all customizable. Cool thing to note as well. It's all touchscreen as well. So whatever your preference is, you have that. Communication is basically your phone. Navigation, so again, you can speak the address. It's very easy to speak to that when it comes to this vehicle. Zooming out, you can look at your maps. You saw the, uh, the message earlier where you have the updates as well. So that's a really cool functionality there. Connected drive. So when I go into connected drive, you have a couple of different systems. So assist, again, God forbid you're in an accident or you need any roadside assistance. 
I'm not going to click on this demo, but if I click down on it, it's actually going to dial the number out to BMW Accident Assistance, who will then walk you through and kind of help you out, right? Concierge, if you're trying to book a show, book a hotel or anything like that, call Concierge and they'll obviously take care of you. Or Service Center Management. Um, again, if you need to book a service appointment, you can do that as well. My vehicle, so this is where you really get into your different um, different options, right? But one of the cool things I wanted to show, and it sucks that it's a little bit earlier in the day, but you do have ambient lighting. So if you see in the picture up there, so across the dash down here, you have lighting that goes up towards the top, lighting in the foot well, and it goes into the back seat as well, but you can really customize the color as well. Bunch of different colors, bronze, orange, white, blue, green, lilac, and then you have two-tone versions of those as well. At night, it looks unreal, um, but you know, a lot of manufacturers have 30, 40 different colors. You don't really need 30, 40 different colors because these are the main ones you end up choosing. Uh, but you do have that functionality there. And obviously zooming back out, different settings as well that you can go through. Notifications, uh, self-explanatory. If anything comes up, you have an old change, a message or anything like that, it's gonna send you uh, a notification as well. So you'll notice a couple buttons across the top. Obviously we all know what the top button is, which is your hazard, hazard lights. Your bottom one is your safety controls. So standard on this vehicle, and I'm gonna to go to configure individual to walk you through it, but you do have pedestrian and frontal collision warning. So obviously pedestrian runs up in front, someone slams their brake, the vehicle is gonna assist in preventing the accident or minimizing the damage from the accident, which is a huge safety feature. You do have lane departure warning, so if you find yourself veering off into a different lane, it's going to help you go back into your lane. Blind spot, which we talked about on both side mirrors. And then not displayed here is you have your speed limit, uh, which will show up. I'm not sure you can tell where it says 67 kilometers, but usually around that area, it's going to tell you what the last reported speed limit is, uh, which obviously is a huge, huge function there. And then you have rear cross traffic alert, which doesn't show up. So the best example of that is you're in a Walmart parking lot and you're reversing out of a parking space, basically, and you don't see the car coming from the corner, it's going to first warn you and then it's going to assist you in braking. So that's a huge safety function or feature as well that's also included on this vehicle. As I make my way down here, so you have a couple of different modes. So you have a mode button over here. Uh, it doesn't really show up there, but... You can, I don't know if you notice up there, I can change AM, FM, satellite, and use band as well. These are all customizable buttons. Uh, so what I did with my BMW was, you know, for example, my button number one would be call my wife, button number two would be navigate to home, three would be work, four would be my favorite AM, you know, sports talk radio. So you can really customize that to what you want. And then you come into your climate control. So obviously you have your different defrost, you got your heated seats, Direction of air, temperature, recirculation as well. So you have a lot of that functionality that's still there. X3, huge plus. And then you got like a huge storage compartment down here. So if I slide this forward, this is where your wireless charger would be, but this is also where you would put your key card as well. You have your cup holders, and then you have another 12 volt down there as well if you need more ports. This vehicle does have an eight speed transmission, automatic transmission, which once you put it into drive, shift it to the left, it'll go to a sport mode. There's your different modes as well. So at one press of a button, you can go into sport mode. You can go to comfort if you just want more of a relaxing mode, or if you do a long road trip, throw it on Eco Pro, save on gas. All right, that's your parking, uh, parking assist system. So what I'll do right now is I'm gonna start the vehicle so we can take a look at it. Foot on the brake. And we start the vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna press that park assist button one more time. And obviously, depending on the options on your vehicle, so this one has that rear camera. Let's press it one more time here. All right, so your rear camera is enabled. Again, you can customize your rear camera. You have your sensors on the front and back and also has the trajectory as well. So it helps you uh, when you're parking in the tight spots. Yes, I'm not in the lanes, but I did that on purpose for this video, but I'm a much better parker, I promise. Okay. You have your electronic parking brake and then below it you have auto H. What is auto H? Basically, when you stop at a traffic light, instead of keeping your foot on the brake, press auto H and it's gonna hold um, hold that position. So instead of you having to keep your foot down, 
it'll hold the position and when you're ready to move forward put your foot on the gas and it'll unlock itself so cool function especially for traffic traffic jams or anything like that this is your iDrive system so this controls the screen directly in front of you keep in mind you don't have to use, you have the choice of touch screen or using this dial i find with bmws once you start using this it becomes almost second nature and you end up defaulting to it but you have the option across the top you have short short keys or short cuts so you can go to media uh, communication which is your phone maps or navigation and across the bottom you have back and your option button there's your armrest let's open the armrest up so one thing to note you got another USB-C down there, and you got a nice little space in this armrest. There's your view of your passenger side, so a ton of space. And then before we end the video, let's take a look at the roof. So this does have a panoramic sunroof. And there's the visibility in the back as well. A ton of visibility in this vehicle. Uh, again, there's a reason why this is our number one volume selling vehicle even a base model like this and we, if we look at the display in front of us yes it has analog components to it but it still has that digital side if i press this bc button if you look directly in front you can customize the information directly in front of you and where it says limit across the left side that's where your speed limit would be okay guys this was a quick overview on the 2021 bmw x3 if you have any questions my name is sean let me know leave a message below um, or if you have any suggestions on other videos let me know as well all right guys thank you very much